Hi everybody, this is Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and uh, I want to show you the difference between a cheap wind turbine and a good wind turbine and it's real easy to point this out. Anyway, here's the SkyMax wind turbine. And here's a company that knocked them off. This is an Aleco, Gudcraft, and others put their name on this. So these are the difference. Uh, just for instance, if you close it, if you look up here on the tail, if you'll get close here on the tail, you'll notice the nice straight weld all the way around. And then when you go to the Gudcraft, you notice the little spot welds. That's just one thing. Notice the difference in the tail sizes. Now, so here we have a 600 watt and we have the SkyMax wind 400 watt. Get up down that. There's a 400 watt right there. And on the Goodcraft, the Leco, um, 600 watt. So this wind turbine is supposed to be 200 watts more than this wind turbine. Be back. Be on. Okay. This is the Godcraft 600 watt. This is the SkyMax wind 400 watt. Now, you can see the stator core hanging out the front. You get a nice angle. And let's put them side by side. Do you see the difference? This is rated at 600 watts, and the SkyMax wind is rated at 400 watts. Look at the difference in the width of the case. The stator core is in this part here, this finned part. So as you can see, this is a lot smaller. <coughs> now, after three months of testing, three months out of the tower, this is what we've gotten. We broke down the gut craft and then broke down the SkyMax wind. This is the cover. This is what happened. This is the cover for the, the gut craft. Do you see this line right here? When I pulled this apart, this was half, this was water that deep this thing was filling with water and you can see the corrosion now if you look into the stator core you'll see that this is all corroded and it's all corroded in the back water was actually literally building up inside of this and it was getting ready to short out now take a close up of the inside Okay, now this is the inside of the SkyMax. See how nice and clean the stator core is on the inside, the front housing, and I'll show you the rotors. Now this is the SkyMax rotor, and this is the Gudcraft rotor. Now keep in mind this is supposed to be 600 watts, and this is a 400 watt wind turbine. Do you see how clean the SkyMax is? And now do a close up here of what's happened to this. Now, the Gudcraft uh, rotor, the magnets are screwed on, and this is a bad, this is actually a bad design. And the SkyMax, they're all embedded. These, these aren't glued. They can't never come out. Oh, screws for the SkyMax. Here's the SkyMax screws. They're all stainless. Here's the Gudcraft screws, the ones that come out of the Gudcraft. And a couple of them actually broke off. They corroded in. These are dissimilar metals. 
you can't put steel in, into a aluminum case. It'll just corrode in, and that's what's happened. Now, this is the inside of the gut craft. And if you can see real close, these are just very thin bands of brass, really thin. And the edges are extremely sharp. The carbon brushes have already cut in. Now you gotta remember this is only three months old. We had it up. And here's the brushes. Very bad design. You can see from the dark spots, the contacts, but not very good at all. Skymax, oh yeah, and the Skymax also has a spring in there so that the, the rotor can actually float a little bit instead of being rigid. Now, as I said, this was up for three months. Skymax was up for three months. Look at the paint and all of the rust. And here's the other side. Three months in Missouri weather. No salt there. It's just regular, regular rainy days like anybody else has. That's how much water was in the bottom of this. This was getting ready to completely shore it out. And this thing is a couple of hundred bucks less than this guy Max Turbin. Now this is three months. So when people say, I seen the same thing on eBay or whatever that's a lot cheaper than the Skymax Turbine, this is exactly what you will get. Well, this is just some of the quality. So here you go. I've seen a lot of these. Six months, fried, they're shot. This is what you're getting. And, you, and people say they look the same. Well, they don't. They, they do look the same when you actually look at them. But when you get inside, this is all you care about. Stator core and the guts. These slip rings are ready to burn out. My guess is they would last probably a year before these would be gone. Now, I'm not going to take apart the Skymax. This is very difficult to get this out of there. But it's one large block of copper and, and the uh, Skymax slip rings. It'll last virtually forever. Now here's something else. This comes with a big coupling that slides over a pole and you just clamp it down. Right? Now, the Skymax has come with this. This slides on here and this clamps on to your tower, this couple inch pipe. The gun craft, this is what it comes with. This is what you have to work with. How do you mount this to a tower? It's almost impossible. You have to do a lot of welding and such. And you basically, you've got three wires that come out of the bottom of this. That's all you got. Now with the Skymax, this is your connector. It's all stainless steel. Your wires slip into these ports, tighten down. And then it's got a strain relief here to lock your cord in. With the Skymax wind turbines, all of these parts are serviceable. We have all of the repair parts for the Skymax turbines. Three year warranty on the 1000 watt, 600 and 400 watt. You got a three full year warranty. On the uh, 1500 watt, you got a five year warranty. And we'll, we'll take care of it all here in the US. Now, the gun craft over here, the Leco, Olu, no warranty on it. You got to send it back to China. I don't know if any of you know what it costs to send one of these back, but literally you can buy another turbine. And I don't care if this thing was free. This is what we got after three months. It really is useless. It's junk. Okay. Notice this stator core and the stacks. They're straight through. And now over here on the Sky, the Skymax, they're angled. And this angle is to prevent cogging altogether. And your stator core or your rotor 
can be wider and get closer to the stator cord, which means more power. So this rotor is cut and it is very close to this stator cord. And it will produce a lot of power. The closer you can get these magnets to the stator core, the more power you get. Now, when you've got this type, straight in line like this, this is going to cog very bad. So, what they've had to do is take this rotor and make it as small as possible to get it away from the stator core so it doesn't cog. Now, this 600 watt is a lot smaller than this 400 watt is. So is this misrated? I guess I'll let you decide. Now as you notice, this is our new permanent magnet generator stator cord. This is just the small one. And you'll see what we've done. We've, we've uh, skewed the stator cord. We are at the same angle as the Skymax wind is and this is the best. Now, what some guys try to do, and this is a real popular company that does this, he slants the magnets. What it is, is he can't afford to skew the stator core, like he stated the arm stator cores are. He can't afford to do this, nor, or maybe they just don't want to. So what he does, he slants the magnets. Well, the problem with slanting the magnets, he's trying to get away from the cogging. But this rotor has to be so small and so far away from the stator core not to cog really bad. There's literally no output out of these things. This is out of a Delco 10SI uh, car alternator PMA. This is the stator core that's out of that same car alternator PMA, the Delco. That's theirs. This is old technology. This is just our stator core alone. What we've done. Twice as much copper. And copper makes power. There you have a side by side. And then we'll do a stand up. There you go. Old technology. This is a Delco car alternator PMA that's used with this rotor. New technology. Skewed stator core. Different rotor style. We'll follow the leader in wind turbine technology. This top view. That's a Delco car alternator PMA. And this is our new permanent magnet generator. You can see the difference in the amount of copper and the size. And by the way, this will not heat up like the Delcos will. These will get extremely hot. Skewed stator core doesn't. Okay, I don't, I don't want anybody to think that I'm doing a product bashing because that's not what I'm doing. After we got done running this for three months and I seen what it was like on the inside of this, it was it's pretty disgusting. And to think tons of these are being sold because they're cheap. So here you go. Inexpensive junk, high quality, costs more. Old technology, new technology. I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and thanks for watching.